Good morning, Connections. So glad you're here. We are talking this week about looking forward. We're emphasizing hope and how important hope is to get us through the most difficult times. If we know what we are looking forward to, then going through what we're currently having to go through is made a little bit easier. We've talked about over the last, I don't know, couple of months, the importance of keeping a prayer journal and how returning to your prayer journal and looking at how God has delivered you in the past can encourage us forward, can be a source of hope. For all of you that do not keep a prayer journal, do you know that God has already created one? With the help of, of David and some of the other writers of the Old Testament, it's called the Book of Psalms. And until you get your prayer journal going and, and a history built up with God that can be a source of faith as well, it's a good place to look to recognize that God is never asleep. God is always working for our good. He's always looking for ways to, to bring us through our current struggles and out the other side with a stronger faith and a greater hope. So we're looking through Psalms this week, and we just started at the beginning, and we're just uh, highlighting a few that as the, the tenor changes and uh, the ability to, to grasp a new concept that is found in the book of Psalms. And we don't travel very far from Psalm 1 to Psalm 3 this morning. O oh Lord, I have so many enemies. So many are against me. So many are saying God will never rescue him. Stop there for a moment. Does that resonate with you? Isolation is something that the devil has learned to use to his favor for a very long time. Making us feel as if the whole world is set against us. Or there's just no place in this world. First thing, God says, that's a good thing, because your place is with me. But that's another topic. This feeling persecuted, feeling oppressed, feeling that no matter where you turn, there's only loneliness. It's something that we need to recognize we all feel. We're not willing to share it because to share it would be to show even greater weakness. But what if we turn to the word of God, to the book of Psalms, and heard some of the strongest people of the Old Testament echoing those same words? How am I going to get through this day? Oh, Lord, I have so many enemies. So many are against me. So many are saying God will never rescue him. But you, oh, Lord, are my shield around me. You are my glory, the one who holds my head high. What do we do in times we feel closed in and isolated? Turn to God. Allow him to remind us of how many tight jams we've been in before, how many times we've felt this very feeling of persecution, and how many times he has rescued us. Not only rescued us, but rescued all of his children. I cried out to the Lord, and he answered me from his holy mountain. Again, it's the power of a prayer journal. 
not only recording the current, what we are, are struggling with, but the resolution. The beautiful thing about the, the book of Psalms is that we get the initial, I'm being persecuted on all sides, followed up with the, well, what did you do about it? I cried out to God and he answered. I laid down and slept, yet I woke up in safety, for the Lord was watching over me. I am not afraid of 10,000 enemies who surround me on every side. Can you hear the confidence and the hope in that statement? Not all, no matter how many people are set against me, no matter how many are, are going the opposite direction that God is leading me, I will keep my eyes on the Lord and follow him. For that is where my strength is found. That is where my protection is found. That is where my hope is found. Perfectly, we get to the end of this psalm and we're, I'm not alone. The children of God have been facing off against this same spirit of isolation since the very beginning. And God brought them through. And now today I have more confidence that he will see me through as well. You have a testimony to share just as the early psalmist. And your testimony is as powerful and will help somebody get through their day. Let's remember not only to kindle hope, but share hope. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for reminding us that we're not in this alone. No matter how much the world wants us to feel that we are the last, you continue to grow your people. Thank you, Lord, for reminding us of how precious we are to one another. To demonstrate that you are alive and well and, and working through us, overcoming our struggles and bringing us into a stronger faith. We thank you, Lord, for all that you have blessed us with, that we have your word right at our, in our hands on days that we feel that we just can't Take another step forward. Your word encourages us to stay in the fight. Lord, forgive us for the times that we have wanted to fold our tent and go home. Forgive us the times when we've allowed hope to slip away. Today, we desire to never experience that again. We kindle hope in our hearts, remind us to continue to look to you and help us recall all of the times that you have brought us through and will bring us through again. For your glory and your honor, in Jesus' name, amen. All right. Hope you're enjoying our look back to look forward. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Till then, know that I love you and I miss you. And please be good.